What do we got here, Travi? Main 2021. Comes right back together in the front. Yeah. Tracked this bug for, I don't know, I bet you I tracked it for five or six miles. Is this the one you jumped? So my father and I were hunting Maine, but had to go back. We decided to have Thanksgiving with the family, and we'd rented a cabin in the White Mountains uh, where we planned on hunting. But we were both so excited about this area we found. As you can see, we were into some pretty good sign, and my dad had seen a really big buck, and I'm pretty sure I missed that same really big buck um, on bare ground. And so we were just hoping for some snow. You know, we were pounding this area, kind of expanding upon it, and then the very last day of the season, um, we got the snow we were looking for, and I walked out this winter road. I was going to do like a four or five mile loop, open and cut a track, and within the first mile there, I stumbled across this big boy's track, and this is the hunt. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks. It's a freaking tough track, and I've been sitting snowing all morning. It's all snowed in. I mean, that's the track I'm following. I'm pretty sure it's him, but... I don't know. Gonna have to catch a break here. And freshen up. So at this point, the deer had gone down and gotten to this clear cut. Um, I'd probably been tracking him from about three or four miles. Again, it's a really snowed in track, so it's really hard to tell. But this other buck track looked just like his, and it ended up being his track. But I had to go investigate. I didn't want to switch tracks and then have that mindset of not knowing, and then you just don't track them the same. And so I, I went down in the clear cut, I investigated a little, and I started to track him. I probably went three, 400 yards on him, and he rubbed this tree. Now, he'd been rubbing the same type of tree, so to me, this was information that told me I was on the same buck. So we just continued on, and, and here's the rest. This is his fourth scrape. Fifth scrape I've seen. Yeah, the buck made a scrape. That little buck earlier. That buck was right there, but he was real small. Look what I'm following. Can you even see the tracks? It ain't easy. Yeah, he made that scrape there, and uh, the the buck I was talking about in this this little clip was uh, I got into some other deer and saw a couple run off. One of the deer had made a scrape, but I determined it wasn't, you know, a very big deer and just stayed on the buck's track. Anyway, from this point, um, he just made a few more scrapes. He was going. I was able to go on him pretty good. The snow kind of settled. And as the snow had calmed down, like it wasn't snowing as much, I was starting to realize that I was really gaining on him. Um, the track was looking fresher and fresher. And right at the end, I, I was close to the deer. It ended up, I didn't know it at the time, but I ran into this other buck track that was smoking fresh, also made a scrape. And I had that kind of pivotal decision, do you switch tracks? And uh, the last day of the season in Maine, finally made the determination I wasn't going to switch tracks. And I'm glad I didn't because I went about two or 300 more yards. And he had bedded, rebedded, got up out of that bed, started feeding. And I was able to catch up to him uh, in his bed. He stood up at his bed at about 25 yards. And I was using a 308 bar and was able to uh, put some into him and harvest the buck. Really fun hunt. Well, told my dad today. I caught a buck track, I'm gonna kill him. Cause it was just right. Well, I cut a buck track and there he is. Big buck, down. Killed one. Picked his buck track up, I don't know, probably. I've had been on this deer for five, six miles. I mean, I've gone up and down. I'm probably only three miles from the truck, but it was uh, all snowed in. He went down, got with a bunch of other deer. I cannot believe that this happened. I mean, this track is so snowed in. If you saw it, I got some video of tracking him. Big buck, big body. I think we'll go over too. 
But yeah, what a fun hunt. You know, these conditions are what you need. Windy blue. Love you, baby. Thanks for letting me do what I love. It really means a lot. I've been pretty down all week. Bare ground, tough. And uh, this certainly makes it all worth it. Just need a little break, a little luck. Bang, shoot yourself a nice buck like that one. Sorry, babe, we're putting this one on the wall too. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this type of content, be sure to check out my YouTube page. It's Cool Water Outdoors. I'll leave a link. Um, and check out Northwoods Whitetails. I team up with those guys to bring you more content on Northwoods Whitetails page, as well as northwoodswhitetails.com. Thanks again.